Hi YouTube family, my name is Vicky and in today's video we are going to learn how to set up the AWS budget. Budget is very important. Whenever we are going to create an account in the AWS, the first thing which we need to do is to set up the budget. Now why budget is important because you know with the help of the budget we will be in control of the amount which we have to pay at the end of the month. It is not something like we can restrict the amount but it is something where we will get the notification if we exceed the amount which we have set for in our AWS account. So what I mean to say here, let's suppose you have configured it for $2. Once your amount or once your billing is going to reach at the $2, it will give you the notification or the Amazon will give you the notification. So that is a very good way to be in control of the amount which you have to pay at the end of the month. So using the AWS account for the learning purpose, we always forget to you know delete the services which we have created for our learning purpose. So in all those cases, Amazon budget is going to help me a lot. This service is going to help me a lot. And you know sometimes we are creating a service for which we don't know how much amount we have to pay at the end of the month. It might be a possibility that service is going to cost you very high, right? Now if we have set up the budget in the correct way, what will happen is Amazon is going to send you the notification, okay your billing amount is going to exceed from this. So with the help of that budget, you will be in control of the amount you have to pay at the end of the month. How to set up the budget we will learn in this video. So setting up budget is very easy. You can do it with your root account or you can do it with the IAM user. If you are using an IAM user, you need to do a couple of steps before, you need to give the extra privileges to that user because this is related to the billing and billing is something which you can only do with the help of the root user. A root user is authorized to do all the billing part because in the billing part you have your credit card information, you have your address, your invoices, everything. So only the root account is the owner of the billing and everything. But while setting up the budget, you can also use the IAM account. But if you are using the IAM account, make sure you need to provide the proper permissions to it. Okay. How to set up the budget for that what we need to do is we need to go to one of the amazon service that is the aws budget now here you have the option to create a budget once you click on create a budget it will give you a couple of options like cost budget uses saving plan and reservation my recommendation just go with the amazon recommendation which says cost budget now cost budget is something in the limit term where you are actually provide the amount Let, let's suppose for a month you only have to spend three dollar that is something you can provide in the cost budget so you need to click on next now here in the detail you need to provide the budget name so let's suppose i'm going to provide demo budget here here i have the period i can set up this thing for daily i can set up this thing on the monthly basis i can set up this thing for quarterly or annually so that is totally up to me how I want to configure my budget. So here I will go with the monthly and here I have the expiry budget or recurring budget. So recurring budget is something which is going to reoccur every month. And if I'm going to set a expiry, what will happen? This is going to work for that period of time. I don't want to set that thing. So I will go with the recurring budget. Now here we need to provide the month from which month we need to start. So I can select, let's suppose, from August I need to start this thing I can also select the year and budget method is going to be fixed planned and here we need to enter the budget amount so let's suppose I am going to enter the five dollar okay now here the budget scope which is important here I can configure it for a specific service or here I can configure it for all the service let's suppose I need to configure my budget for a specific service for a EC2 okay I can do that I can go to the filter option I can add a filter from here I need to select a service and from here I need to select the EC2 now what will happen this budget is only going to apply to this specific service likewise we can add any service of our choice so here I have selected the S3 likewise you can add any of the service if you want to go with a specific service if I'm going to select this option now, this is going to apply on all the services which are running in my AWS account. So that is a recommended one and I will go with that option. We need to click on next. Now here we have the option to 
add a threshold now threshold is something so here i have selected five dollar now i want once it is going to reach at 50 percent it is going to send me a notification and on which email you it is going to send me the notification that email i need to enter it here so xyz at gmail.com whatever the email you are going to provide here it is going to send you the notification on that email and the trigger is actual or the forecasted value now what exactly this forecasted value is let's suppose you are using a ec2 machine and for the ec2 you are paying it for the hourly basis now let's suppose you are using a ec2 machine and for that you hourly you are paying it somewhere around one dollar now forecasted is something if you keep on using that machine for a period of 30 days amazon is going to give you the forecasted amount for that machine as well after 30 days if you keep on using this machine you have to pay this much amount so that is the forecasted one if you want you can go with the forecasted but actual is something which is going to give you the actual amount okay so here it is telling you when your actual cost is greater than 50 percent or dollar 2.50 okay likewise you can add couple of more let's suppose i want a notification on 80 percent as well i can do that we need to click on next here we can you know check all the configuration which we have configured it in our previous step we are good next and here we have the option to create the budget once i'm going to click on create budget then what will happen my budget is going to be for the five dollar every month because it's a recurring one so it is going to repeat on every month basis and i will get a notification once it is going to reach at 50 percent that means 2.5 dollar when i'm going to use in my account it is amazon is going to give me the notification for that thank you